Hello everyone, this is Bluebeam Man, and this video we're going to be talking about building tool chests with auto scaling icons. Okay, this is super super cool, and when this feature rolled out, I, I don't I think it was 2016. It totally changed the way we can build tools. So right here, this is a test floor plan. In case you didn't know where this test floor plan or kind of like play floor plan exists, if you go to help and then welcome to review, you'll be jumped to this page where you can open up this sample file, which is really cool to play around with. So it's always fun to have kind of a sandbox. I'm gonna just go ahead and click on the arrow down here, left click and select everything and just hit delete on my keyboard just to get rid of this. So I made a new tool chest, simply click tool chest, Spanish tools, add, you know, it's very simple. You give it a name and you have a new tool chest, right? And this tool chest right now is blank and empty. And let's just say I wanted to make icons that are set to scale and so that we can do auto scaling. Now the first thing you wanna do is you wanna build your icons in a drawing that has legitimate scale. Now right now if I look at this drawing, um, I know there is probably, this is probably built to scale and somewhat because it does show this is 30 feet, this line. So I mean, I could do that, but for the most part, I'm really looking for um, a drawing that say, say maybe has a quarter inch scale where I can compare. But in this case, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add a new, um, new page. And in this page, I'm gonna go ahead and set the scale to let's just say quarter inch. Actually, that's not a good idea. Let's just do this. I'm gonna go ahead in here and I'm just gonna set the scale in this drawing. Now what I recommend doing on this, again, Bluebeam is really great because you can kind of pivot on things, but I'm just gonna grab this door here and I'm gonna say that this is three feet because it is, and I'm gonna click apply scale. Now this scale is now set to 0.37 inches equals three feet. Now most cases when I go to build my drawings, I wanna build them in on a floor plan that's a quarter inch scale or if I have existing icons in a, in a certain scale, I'm gonna build it here, but this is gonna give you just kind of the basics of it. So let's just say that's scale, this one, which is 0.37 equals three feet, okay. So what I'm gonna do first is I wanna build myself an icon. So what I'm gonna do is in this one, because this is the profile that I've selected, I'm gonna to go to tools, markup, and I just want, well, I'm just gonna do a box. I'm gonna pick a rectangle and I'm gonna turn on the snap to grid. I'm gonna kind of zoom down here and I wanna do just a box like this. And I think that's a good size box. Let's take a look. Maybe go a little bit bigger because I'm gonna do some devices that are gonna go on a door. So now that I got that there, I'm gonna to go to my properties tab and I'm gonna set this line width down a little bit. I think that looks good. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get a, uh, cause I like to work in snapshots versus groups. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a text box and I'm gonna snap this text box in here. And once this is here, I'm just gonna put in CR. I'm gonna call that a card reader. That's a little big. So let's go down and change the font to say a six. And I'm gonna drag this up to here. Now you notice that I, you can, on the text box, you can get the everything to kind of line up and it doesn't want to quite fit in there. So I'm gonna lower this down to maybe five and we'll see if we can get this CR to line up. It doesn't want to line up. It's being very temperamental right now, which is hilarious. Um, so it looks like it's not gonna go in there on the snap. So I'm just gonna take this off right now and we're gonna see how, oh, I know why. It's because this pesky little margin so if I turn that margin down to a zero, what you'll notice is now it'll fit perfectly. So note tip, margin, make it zero. So now that I have this perfect text box, it's set up to, to line up in there. I like the way this looks. I'm gonna select all of it and hit Control G. That's group. You can also right click and do the group on group. But now that I got my little icon, I can make unlimited number of icons. So let's just say this one, I'm gonna hold Control, click and drag. It's this cool little copy trick. So now this will be, um, I can do like a biometric reader, okay? I can make another one in here. Let's just say I'll make this like a, I don't know, let's do door contact. Okay, so now that I got all these symbols, what most people do is they'll right click and they'll add these back to the tool chest as a group. Me personally, I like to use a snapshot tool and with the grid snap on, you can just go like this and you can get a perfect snapshot and I can hit paste. So now that I have this perfect snapshot here, again, I'm gonna go up here and I'm just gonna get this guy as well. 
and hit paste. It's a very easy way to create snapshots. If you notice that these are snapshots and these are groups, once you have the snapshots, you can name them. So I'm gonna put uh, biometric reader. And then on this one, we'll just type in door contact, door contact. Okay, now that we have our two icons made, remember we made these in 0.374993 equals three feet scale. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna add these back to that tool chest I just made. So there they are right there. Now if I click detail mode, I'll get to see what they're called. And here's where it gets cool because if I have a different drawing, those are always gonna be this size, but I could tell this tool chest, hey, what scale did you make these icons? And I can say, let's put that scale in there. And it kind of carried over the one from the drawing, but I made these icons in the 0.374993 equals three feet. If I made these on quarter inch equals one foot, it's a lot easier to, to maintain. But now that's done, I can hit apply. So now Bluebeam knows that these icons were made in this scale. So then if I told this drawing, I went to a preset and I said, if this drawing was, uh, let's say quarter inch equals one foot, I bet you these will get bigger and they do. Look at that. So now that you have a, a baseline and you hopefully can build your icons next to a drawing that has a legitimate scale there. It's typically built like eighth inch equals one foot or quarter inch equals one foot. And um, if I went down, let's just say eighth inch, I bet you they'll be smaller. They are, that's I think. So this drawing's pretty close to eighth inch. It's almost, I think it is. I think this drawing is built in eighth inch. So let's just go with that because again, I just kind of figured it out. But now that you, you're building your stuff, let's just say you're at eighth inch, I can go back here and definitely change it. So I can go back to set scale and in here and I can go to preset and I can set that to eighth inch because it looks like that's what this drawing is created in. And now if I wanna make a gigantic library of icons, I can open up a new page and this is kind of where I was going before. Hope you're following this. And in this new page, I could kind of set this up as my template with kind of like my, my snaps on down here. And I believe I set my preferences um, in for my grid to 0.05 inches, okay? So I sent it to 0 0.05 inches. So it gives me this nice kind of, um, this general grid. So now if I put this biometric heater over here, it's gonna snap very nicely to these fields. And I know that the scale on this drawing or on what I built the icons was eighth inch equals one foot. So now I can go in this set here, I can go take all my groups that I built, which are these guys, and I could use them as my templates, right? So this could be my template and this could be my snapshot. This could be my template. And then again, the other one is the snapshot. Now any icon you build in this template, you wanna make sure it's eighth inch equals one foot because you always wanna build your new icons in the same scale which you're putting it back into your tool chest so it maintains that baseline. So in this instance, I'm gonna just hold control, left click and drag. I'm gonna get my new one here. I'm gonna double click and maybe put this as like CA for, I don't know, camera. It's a horrible icon for a camera, but let's just go with it. Then I can take my snapshot tool. Again, I got the grid and snap, so it's gonna make it nice and pretty. There's my snapshot. I can go over here and click on the properties and name this camera. Again, this is not a representation of a camera, but it's just for the video's purpose and I add that back to my tool chest. Now all these are snapshots, they're all auto scaling, but you can see now when I go back to my floor plan over here, now I have an auto scaling icon. So it's just a super cool way to build a tool chest in a baseline scale, just build them from an existing scale drawing so you kind of understand that they're gonna match every other drawing you go to. And now it doesn't matter what drawing you're working in, whether it's a scan junky PDF or a drawing that's legitimate to scale, all you have to focus on now is making sure that you input the scale of the drawing here and you have this little Illuminati triangle turned on and your icons will automatically scale up and scale down to match the scale of the page. And now you can build the biggest, baddest, most craziest icon library known to humankind in eighth inch, you know, um, scale and off you go. So hopefully that's helpful. That will unlock the world of building tools and building a template and managing a template of having the groups here, the icon here, leveraging the, uh, the snap to grid, 
There's also one little tip that I'm gonna throw in at the very end here, and it's a polygon tool. If you wanna get crazy with your icons, you can also do some cool stuff like this. Um, again, I would set the grid a little bit different, but imagine this, you can right click on these corners and you can convert these to arcs. I can just say convert to arc, convert to arc. And it's kind of fun. So you can kind of play around with different icons doing that polyline tool and make them look kind of a little bit more pretty versus edgy. But again, the world is your oyster with Bluebeam. Design away, have fun with these auto scaling tool chests and make sure to build all your tools in the same scale and then make sure that scale is replicated here and then off you go. Have a wonderful day everybody. Blue Bean Man out.